Welcome to the Specialty Products Company installation video for the 26012 and the 26014 Jeep Camber Shims. Change camber on a half or one degree on many popular Jeep models by installing this shim between the hub and steering knuckle. A caliper shim is also included for use on the WJ, KJ, and JK models. These durable, high-strength nylon shims provide a faster option for correcting negative camber issues. Always follow proper safety precautions associated with all the equipment used in this video. Read the installation instructions thoroughly. Determine the amount of camber correction needed. A half a degree using the 26012 shim or one degree using the 26014 shim. Raise the front axle and properly support it. Remove front wheel. Remove brake caliper. Support caliper to prevent damage of the brake hose. Remove caliper bracket if equipped and rotor. Remove ABS sensor if equipped. If four wheel drive, remove cotter pin, cap, and nut holding axle shaft to hub bearing assembly. The axle stub does not need to be removed on two wheel drive vehicles. Remove three bolts holding the hub bearing assembly to the knuckle. If equipped, Note orientation of brake dust shield. Using a soft blow hammer, remove the hub bearing assembly from the knuckle while leaving the axle shaft in axle housing. Warning, removing the axle shaft with the hub bearing assembly risks damage of the inner axle seals. Clean all mating surfaces of rust and dirt. Using upper hub retaining bolts to align parts, install camber shim with front arrow pointing directly forward and all markings facing the right side of the vehicle. Reinstall dust shield if equipped and a hub bearing assembly into knuckle. Snug three hub retaining bolts and axle stub nut on four wheel drive vehicles. Then torque properly to factory specifications. Reinstall ABS sensor if equipped. Reinstall brake rotor. On KJ, WJ, and JK Jeeps, install caliper bracket with provided caliper bracket shim between the knuckle and the bracket. Tighten caliper bracket bolts to factory specifications. Reinstall caliper. Torque caliper mounting bolts to factory specifications. Reinstall front wheel and lower vehicle. Always check for proper clearance between suspension components and other components of the vehicle. Complete alignment by setting toe. Road test the vehicle. 